Irina Sendler was born on February 15, 1910 in Warsaw, Poland. She grew up in the mostly Jewish occupied town of Otwok, Poland. Her father died of typhus in 1917, his dying statement to Irina being to save a drowning person even if you can't swim. World War I broke out in 1939, when Irina was 29, and she began to protect her Jewish friends in Warsaw. She worked as a social services director and took advantage of her role by making false documents for Jews in the city, employed by the Welfare Department of Warsaw Municipality. I don't even know how to say that. Okay. After the German occupation, the department could no longer take care of the people in need in the city, because the ghetto was sealed off in November 1940. 400,000 people in the ghetto were driven into the ghetto and the poor conditions, such as the hygienic conditions, lack of food, medical supplies, resulted in epidemics and really high death rates. Irina Sendler, at great personal danger, began to plan out ways to get into the ghetto and smuggle out and find hiding places for the dying Jews. She did this by getting a permit from her organization to inspect health conditions. The Council for Aid to Jews, or ZEGTA, was created in fall 1942, after 2,800,000 Jews were deported from Warsaw to Treblinka, when most Jews had been killed. Irina became one of the main activists, playing a crucial role to rescue large jumbled who survived the deportation. She, in particular, was the leader of Saving Children, an organization. What they did was pay for Jews' medical care, nutrition, found hiding places, and many other things that enabled them to continue living their lives. Irina, in particular, exploited her contacts in orphanages and organizations for abandoned Jewish children. On October 20, 1943, Sendler was arrested. She had managed to stash away incriminating evidence, such as the coded addresses of children in the care of Zagoda and large numbers, large sums of money to pay to those who helped Jews. She was sentenced to death and sent to the infamous Piwak prison and tortured because she wouldn't say the names of her associates or give any other additional information. Underground activists from her organization managed to bribe officials to release her. Her close encounter with death did not deter her from continuing her activity, however. In February 1944, after her release, she knew that authorities would be keeping a close eye on her, but Irina still continued her underground activities with extra care this time. Irina continued the work until the war ended in 1945, where Zagoda saved around 2,500 children altogether, and Irina personally, 400. The personal life of Irina, of Irina Sendler. In 1947, she married a man, Stefan Zygremski, excuse me, and they had three children, daughter Janka and son Andres, and who died at infancy, and Adam. This was her second husband. After Stefan's death, she remarried her first husband and again divorced with him. His name was Mike Slaw Sendler, and she married him first in 1931, divorcing again. Irina had an education at the University of Warsaw, particularly in Polish literature and law. She took a break from her studies there from 1932 to 1937. Irina Semler died in Warsaw, Poland at the age of 98 from pneumonia. Her story and courage will never die.